FEMA wants the U.S. to prepare for 10 years off electricity grid after a perfect solar storm. A perfect solar storm similar to one that slammed into Earth in the Carrington event in 1859 will knock out the United States electric grid for up to 10 years, according to a warning in an unpublished report from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. The 36-page report posted this month at governmentattic.org, which uncovers old government documents that often are acquired via Freedom of Information Act requests. The 2010 document was titled Mitigation Strategies for FEMA Command, Control and Communications During and After a Solar Superstorm. The storm that hit Earth in 1859 was dubbed the Carrington Event and caught telegraph machines, the most advanced technology of the day, on fires. On fire predicting what would happen if that type of solar crashed into Earth in the 21st century. The document says significant power grid collapses may occur in North America and elsewhere, could require four to 10 years to fully restore. But even a smaller storm like the one that hit Earth in 1921 uh, would cause large scale power grid collapse if it hit today. The report predicted that internet, cable TV, telephone services would be shut down Cell phone service also would quickly be lost. And the report states approximately 60% of the cellular towers in the U.S. have battery backup for only 2 to 24 hours. As these towers lose power, large portions of the cellular network will begin to fail. Urban and populated suburban areas are more likely to have cell towers with generator backup with uh, fuel reserves ranging from 1 to 7 days, depending on location and equipment owner. FEMA never published the report, which is dated December 2010. Off the Grid News reached out to an expert on the grid who has frequent contact with government agencies. This person said the report appeared to be legitimate. Quote, the paper recreates the 1859 event today using the latest research to explain and understand. One, the nature and effects of radio blackouts, solar radiation storms, and geomagnetic storms. Two, their potential for cascading effects on global power and telecommunication systems. And three, the implications for FEMA in planning for and responding to such an event. And quote, the report reads, a Carrington-type event would generate massive amounts of energy that would blow out transformers. It's the replacement of these transformers that's often uh, of concern to FEMA and other government agencies. Each transformer is custom-made there are no backup parts. It's not known how many transformers there are in the U.S., but it's likely it's in the tens of thousands. Each one takes up to two years to build. Can you imagine? Loss of key infrastructure for extending periods due to the cascading effects from a space weather event or other disturbances could lead to a lack of food given low inventories and reliance on just-in-time delivery. Loss of basic transportation inability to pump fuel and loss of refrigeration is how uh, the 2008 report from the National Academy of Sciences described the aftermath of a major solar storm. This is by Baxter Demetria News Punch. Unless the only type of communities that will not have problems with this are communities like the Amish in Pennsylvania, for example. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.